oh my god look at that like when they were all and this is not even i still have four eight god oh my god <laughs> one person should never should never have this amount of foundation like this is not even ever 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 have this amount of foundation like don't do it to yourself don't do it to yourself baby girl look at that oh he's killing me <sighs> hey guys what's up it's a girl show here and welcome back to my channel so as you guys can see from the thumbnail and the title i'm going to be doing a foundation declutter today um, actually, I'm going to be decluttering my whole entire makeup collection. I've been seeing this video going around for quite some time now and I kind of have been decluttering my makeup because I've been giving away a lot of stuff, but I never really thought about filming it and there's a lot of things that I just want to like clear out because I got new stuff that I'm going to be using and a lot of old stuff that I just don't want to use anymore, stuff that I bought like a long time ago or stuff that I recently bought that just did not work out for me and some of these things I'm going to see what I have that I really recently bought that I can probably return but most of the stuff I'm probably either going to be throwing it away or donating it so in today's video I'm going to be working on just condensing my foundation down to just what I love and what I like to use all the time and then a lot of other foundations I'm just going to be giving them away and then a few old ones that I haven't used in a while or don't use anymore and I just need to throw them out so if you guys are interested in seeing my foundation declutter please continue to watch to start off I'm just going to start off with these foundation sticks these are the black opal foundation sticks I have three of them I have the color heavenly honey mocha and beautiful bronze and i mix beautiful bronze and heavenly honey to like get my perfect foundation shade and then i use suede mocha as a like like a cream contour shade and i used it today i absolutely love this so i am going to be keeping these i don't have um like a a lot left in this this is all that i have left so just a little bit left in here so i'm going to be using this up and then i'm not too sure if i'm going to be repurchasing this in the same color because it's slightly a bit darker than what i like just a slight bit darker but i make it work and then as for these two shades I hate the fact when I have to mix two foundations to get my shade but as of these I'm gonna keep these as well because in this one I don't have a lot left either this is all that I have left of this one hopefully you guys can see that there's barely anything left in this and then this one I mixed with that one to get my perfect foundation shade so this is what I have left in heavenly honey as well I can use this to highlight my face but I don't use it very often because it's very heavy on the skin so only because I really like the formula of these in the winter time when my face is extremely dry these have a lot of oil so it helps my face to stay moisturized so I will be keeping these I also have this foundation stick from Maybelline this is a Maybelline fit me shine free on um, foundation stick I don't even remember the last time I used this I don't remember what the formula is like I don't even remember what it's like period but just judging by the shade this looks like something that I would use to highlight and it's very blotchy on the back of my hand I don't like how the formula looks and just because I haven't even remember using this or how it works I kind of want to get rid of it just because I don't think I'll ever use this again but mm, let me put it to the side for now and then I'll decide later if I want to keep it or if I want to get rid of it the next foundation is the Becca ultimate coverage complexion cream this is a foundation that I bought probably like a year or two ago I don't remember but I bought it over a year ago I have this in the shade Sienna and when I picked this up I thought this was my shade and this is not my shade at all this is super dark for my skin tone so I don't even know how I ended up with this shade but I used it a few times and my face looked really really dark I love the formula of this foundation so it's something that I would like to retry in the future but I am gonna be getting rid of this because it's way too dark 
for my skin tone and normally I would keep this to say I'm going to use it in my kit and I never reach for this foundation if I'm doing other clients so I think it's time to part ways with this foundation. The next foundation is the Maybelline Superstay foundation. This is what I have on my skin today. This foundation is absolutely amazing. I have it in the shade 355 Coconut. Love this stuff so I will be keeping this. I also have the Maybelline Matte poreless foundation i have two of the matte ones and i also have the maybelline dewy smooth foundation these i will be keeping in my kit because it's a staple foundation that i think everyone should have and now they've extended the shade range so much i think it's more than 20 shades so i think everyone should be able to find their shade in this foundation so for that reason this guy right here is a keeper the next one that i have in my collection is the l'oreal true match foundation i actually had two of these and i gave one away like about a month ago and i think i want to get rid of this foundation as well because it is so red on my skin tone I actually never pull for this foundation anymore so because of the shade I don't think that I want to keep it because it is super duper duper red on my skin tone and the next color to this shade is way too light for me so because of that I don't think I want to keep this foundation I actually really like the formula of this I just don't like the color so I think I'm gonna be get ri getting rid of this one as well the next foundation that I want to talk about is the Mac Studio Fix foundation yes hunty I want to talk about the Mac Studio Fix foundation I actually have one two I think I have three bottles of this foundation. I don't even see the other bottle, but I have three bottles of this foundation. This is my all-time favorite foundation of all freaking time. I love this foundation. Both of these bottles are almost empty, so you know your girl had to get a backup. I have a backup right here because I cannot run out of this on days when I'm going out or I know I'm going to be taking like professional photos, anything like I'm going to a wedding, anything of that sort. This is the foundation that I pull for because it never fails me. The color is just perfect on my skin tone and yeah, this is my favorite 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 foundation of all time so we'll be keeping these the bottles are almost empty so i'm going to use them up and then you know that you guys can trade in your empty mac products for a lipstick so i always do that so i'm going to use those up the next mac foundation that i have is the mac pro Longwear foundation i have this in two shades i have it in nc50 which is my shade and nc45 i am going to be keeping these because i actually use this one on a lot of my clients that are lighter skin tone than I am and it works perfectly on their skin tone this one I actually mixed this one with the studio fix love the way it looks love the um, the formulas together the formula is very similar so I like to mix these two the color is the same it's just the formula that I create when I mix both of them amazing the next foundation is the Black Opal Liquid Oil Free Foundation. I remember using this in the past and I actually really liked it. But after a while, I don't know, for some reason, the, the formula just got like so watery. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's literally like water. I don't know how it got so runny, why it got so runny, but it's so liquidy now. And even after I shake it up, it's still like pure just water so I don't know if it's because it's been sitting for a while or what the problem is but it just turned into water and I don't know why it did that but I will be getting rid of this because I think it's expired I think it's probably expired it's probably one of those foundations that don't last for a long time so that has to go the next foundation is the l'oreal infallible pro glow foundation i have this in the shade um coco and this is really red on me like so red to the point where 
I look crazy when I wear this. Like, look how red that is, or orange on the back of my hand. I really love the matte formula of this foundation. So I am going to be keeping this. What I probably do is mix it with my Fenty foundation because my Fenty foundation is a lot more on the golden side. So if people would see my Fenty foundation, they'll be like, oh, that's too light for your skin tone. So both of these foundations mix together actually give me like a perfect shade. So that's the reason why I'll be keeping the L'Oreal foundation just because I actually really like the formula and I can mix it with my Fenty foundation and it works perfectly. So this foundation is a keeper. Since I mentioned my Fenty foundation, I might as well talk about it. This one is a lover of mine. I love the way how it looks, the finished look of this foundation. Absolutely stunning. This works on dry skin, normal, oily skin, it, all the in-betweens, amazing. The only thing I will not be repurchasing this only because you have to put like two or three coats to get it to full coverage. And I don't like a medium coverage foundation, a light coverage foundation. My foundation has to cover my whole entire face or else it's a no-go for me. So I'm going to be using up everything that's in this bottle, but I'm not going to be repurchasing it just because you got to do too much to get it to full full coverage. So I am going to be keeping my Fenty, but it will not be a repurchase. Next foundation is the Kat Von D Lock It Tattoo Foundation. This, I think, actually expired as well. I don't know what is wrong with it, but I tried to use it the other day, and I know that it is a thick thick full coverage girl but it's gotten like so cakey now i think the formula is no longer there i don't know what is wrong with it but i tried using it the other day and it looked horrible on my skin so i will be getting rid of the kat von d lock it tattoo foundation i'm gonna throw it out and it will not be a repurchase just because it's a little bit too heavy for my liking when my skin had a lot more pigmentation on it and it was like a lot more uneven and i had a lot more breakout this did so good with covering up all my imperfections but now that my skin is getting a lot more clearer the texture is not there like it was before I don't think I need this anymore so this will not be a repurchase the next foundation is the Milani Conceal Plus Perfect 2-in-1 um, Foundation Plus Concealer Foundation. I have this in the shade number 13, which is Chestnuts. Love, love, love this stuff. Like, this foundation is so good. Whenever I run out of this, I'll definitely be repurchasing it because I love the formula. The formula reminds me so much of my MAC studio fix foundation i love this so i will be keeping this the next one is the la girl pro longwear foundation pro coverage foundation this foundation love this one as well it's very similar to the milani foundation that i just spoke about but the formula of it is a little bit less thicker than the milani one but i love this stuff it is so good the color is perfect for my skin tone i have this in the shade coffee this is almost empty so this bottle is almost empty but i went ahead and grabbed a backup because this is amazing i love 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 this stuff like this is one of the best drugstore foundations out there the next foundation is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. Um, these are the two shades that I have. I have it in Espresso and Mahogany. These colors are very, very similar, but I do think that I like Espresso a little bit better because it, it's not as red as Mahogany, I think. I don't remember what was the color, but let me check right now because one of them is a little bit too red for me so let me see but it's very hard to tell in the color yeah i think mahogany is a little bit more red than espresso so i absolutely love this baby right here like so good so good so i will be keeping these i actually want to purchase the shade that's lighter than these to mix it to get a little bit of the redness out of it but this foundation right here absolutely amazing next foundation is the 
Maybelline Superstay Better Skin Foundation. I bought this foundation, I don't remember, a few months ago, and I probably used it once. I think I used it once. I never used it again. I don't remember what it was like when I used it, if I liked it, if I hated it. I really don't remember what was the issue with this foundation when I used it, but I don't think I liked it because if I did, I would have reused it. I would have I know I would have reused it so I don't even want to keep it to retry it because I don't think that is something that I would like so I am gonna be getting rid of this because no no I don't think I like it and I don't even want to try it again because no <laughs> the next one that I want to talk about is the NYX total coverage foundation this is a very watery runny foundation it is very watery it kind of reminds me of the Fenty with the with the formula It's very runny um, I used it probably once before I didn't hate it but I didn't remember really loving it as well so I am gonna be keeping this to retry it and see how I like it but if I don't really like it when I use it again I will be getting rid of it but for now I'm gonna keep it it isn't something though that I would, that I would repurchase because if I don't use if I try foundation and I don't love it the very first time, I can automatically tell that it's not going to be something that I love. So I am going to keep it to use it a few more times to see how I like it, but it will not be a repurchase. The next foundation is the CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Elixir Foundation. I actually like this foundation when I used it the first time the only thing that I don't like about it is the fact that I have to mix two shades to get my perfect shade so I have to mix 775 and 765 which I don't mind sometimes mixing a, a color but I don't know I just I'm, I'm just like too lazy these days and if Maybelline can make the freaking super stay foundation and 355 is my perfect shade and I don't have to mix it I don't see why I would want to go through the hassle of mixing a foundation however I really do like the coverage of this it is a full coverage foundation I think this also has SPF in it so it has an SPF of 20 which would be perfect for the summertime to help your skin you know get that protection from the Sun so I am gonna be keeping these to wear in the summertime but after that I will not be repurchasing these because I will tell you guys in a few minutes but um yeah I will not be repurchasing these because I have to mix my shade all right so those are all the foundations that I had in my kit so the ones that I'm gonna be getting rid of I have over here on my left and then the ones that I'm gonna be keeping I have over here on my right I know that you guys can see that but I just wanted to point to point that out so I already mentioned to you guys that I have a re up on my MAC foundation and I have a re up on my CoverGirl foundation just because these are my ride or die I cannot run out of these so I'm gonna be adding those to my collection I'm also gonna be adding the NARS natural radiant longwear foundation to my collection you guys already know that I own this next um, foundation that I'll be adding to my collection is the Bobbi Brown skin long wear weightless foundation the reason why i said that i would not be repurchasing the covergirl elixir foundation is because of the bobby brown foundation and the reason being is because they both have spf this one only has spf of 15 this one has spf of 20 but i have to buy two shades to mix to get my perfect shade however the bobby brown i don't have to mix and i know that this is a lot more expensive than both the CoverGirl foundation combined but I just really prefer the formula of this it's so pretty on my skin the color is perfect I actually like the color of the Bobbi Brown foundation better than I like the color of the NARS so just wanted to put that out there and my color in the Bobbi Brown is golden almond which is 6.75 I love the color of this it has a little bit a little bit more warmth than the NARS so it actually works perfect for my skin tone and this is what you guys will be seeing me wearing a lot in the summertime because it has SPF honey hello I also went ahead and picked up the um, Physicians Formula Healthy, um, the Healthy Foundation. This one also has SPF of 20. 
beautiful packaging but i do not like the formula the formula looks very gray very ugly on my skin tone i don't know if it's because it oxidizes on me i don't know what the problem is with this foundation but i tried it once and i do not like it i'm gonna go ahead and try it one more time but i actually was doing a review on this foundation and the way how it looked i, I just hated it so i deleted the whole video but um if you guys want to see a review on this foundation let me know know down below in the comments and I'll do a review other than that I think this is one that I will be returning because I did not like this at all and last but not least of the foundations that I want to talk about is the Estee Lauder double wear foundation I love this foundation this is one of the other foundations that reminds me of my Mac foundation as well the formula is a lot different though I must say but I absolutely love this foundation because the bottle is very small very sleek and this would be perfect for me to use to travel because of the size of the bottle so um, I know that it's glass and you can break this but I don't know I like how it looks I'm not a big 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 fan of um the cap because it doesn't have a pump but the mac one doesn't have a pump either and i make it work so i absolutely love this so i will be keeping this foundation i must have said foundation like a thousand times but um that wraps it up for this video you guys if you guys have any foundation that you absolutely love and think i should try let me know down below but i literally deleted like seven foundation seven or eight foundation from my collection so that almost cut my foundation down in half and i'm very happy about that i'm very proud of myself so um i want to keep it small but if you guys have any foundation that you think i should try let me know down below other than that um tell me what you guys favorite saw tell me how you love them tell me how you like to use them i don't know tell me something but that wraps it up for this video thank you guys so much for watching and i cannot wait to see you guys in my next declutter video Bye, guys.